Hello, I'm Robin Harris of Storage Mojo. NAND flash is a hot topic, but putting flash into disks is like putting new wine into old skins. Is there a better way to use flash's unique qualities? In this video white paper, David Flynn, CTO of Fusion IO, talks about how they use flash, the surprising impact of reduced IO latency, and a customer example. I'll be back with the Storage Mojo take. And it's only been the last few years that NAND flash has a bit density and a performance uh, that, that's really positioned it. And this is important because that gap between disks and processors has continued to spread over the last 20 years. It's, it's important that you look to the OS and to the applications like what they expect. But uh, why bother looking to the sheet metal or to the disk controllers? that you're trying to bypass anyway. So there's no real reason to look like SATA and SCSI to a SATA and SCSI controller because those controllers are actually the problem. We deploy a driver just like a RAID controller has a driver or like a host bus adapter or a graphics card. And we look no different to the OS. It looks like block storage. Ultimately where it arrives at is you need to pull that NAND flash in close and it actually sits where the RAID controller would have been. Because PCI Express is the common denominator. People say, well, isn't SCSI and, and, and SATA more standard? It's like, well, the SCSI or SATA RAID controller actually sits on PCI Express, so it's the common underline. An application asks the OS to go and get a block of storage. The OS then uh, sends that down through sometimes the file system, sometimes you're bypassing the file system like databases do to get higher performance. Then you go into the, the block layer and it gets wrapped uh, in in, in, a, in protocol, uh, in SCSI and SATA, and, and then that, that encapsulated shell gets sent to the RAID controller. Well, with NAND flash, you don't need that, and you also don't need the protocol encapsulation. This isn't just about removing, you know, disk arrays for performance purposes and using NAND flash in its place, but it's also about making the, the, the server itself more efficient. There's a reason for that. And this is kind of surprising. If you have much lower latency, to get the same throughput, you need fewer transactions in flight. So if I'm doing 100,000 things per second, and I'm answering in a hundredth of a second, then that means I have to have a thousand of them, a thousand of them overlapping. And I have to have memory for all of that, and I have to have the CPUs stumbling all over each other as they're picking them up and putting them down and working with all of those. If, on the other hand, I can answer a hundred times faster than that, in a ten thousandth of a second instead of a hundredth of a second, and now it's ten transactions in flight at once. A lot less work for the CPU in context switching, in uh, stumbling over it, and how much RAM, so you get better locality in your memory because you're not spreading it out as much. So this is all about improving the efficiency of all of the tiers in the memory hierarchy. Your, your L1 cache gets more hits, your L2 cache gets more hits, your RAM gets more hits because you're not having to take so long and therefore work in parallel with so many different pieces. One, one example would be uh, a customer running a, a transaction system with um, a, uh, I think they had on the order of 250 15K RPM drives, fiber channel, uh, the whole getup um, you know, cost you know, well over a quarter million dollars and then a server with 16 cores, uh, 16 licenses of Oracle for each of those cores, and uh, 64 gigs of RAM. Just that one server is all it takes to consume all of the I.O. that that SAN put out to run this database. It was doing about 9,000 of their transactions per minute. Now they, they, they built a second system with half the cores and half the RAM, so basically half of the server hardware and half of the Oracle licenses because now you only need eight, and um, none of the SAN. Putting the I.O. drive in there, they were able to achieve 11,000 transactions per minute. Sustained. The Storage Mojo Take. Fusion I.O. is on to something. The gap between CPUs and disks has never been wider. Keeping flash close to the CPU minimizes latency. While putting flash into disk drive packaging has real advantages. The future belongs to flash designs that minimize latency and maximize bandwidth. Comments welcome, as always. I'm Robin Harris for Storage Mojo.